everybody. Welcome to the Evercade Effect. This is Ed Live. How are we doing this evening? Hey, channel member Crash Line, appreciate it. So, thought I would be doing something a little bit different. And I figured now the kind of the roadmap is kind of a good segue into it. A few people have been requesting, like, hey, why don't you make some videos on some games that you'd like to that you would like to see on Evercade? So I thought sure that would be that would be a great idea. Uh, now to go ahead and why not like stream some of them live, right? Hey, Master Spark Gamer, you're always here. Um, so yeah, these are games that I want to come to Evercade. It isn't just an excuse to play retro games. I mean, I love playing retro games. But yeah, the Freddy shirt's on, something a little bit different. Figured I would try it out since we're getting some feedback. And if people like it, you know, I'll go ahead and do this uh, more often. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And kind of as I'm playing these games, you know, I do, I want to kind of talk about like why, like maybe was it a game from my childhood, you know, that, um, that just means a lot to me. Also too, it's not limited just to, to emulation, right? There are also games like, let's say indie games on Steam and all that, but, um, you know, I'm not going to pick anything unrealistic, even though I'd love to like spin up like... Sega like Saturn emulation. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Um, so let me just get a banner going because that way, as people kind of come in here, they can see. You know what I would. Uh, you know what I would like here, and so the first game. Uh, it would be kind of fun, maybe to play. You know, play some. Uh, play some Jack. I'll, I'll have to see how this goes on the screen. If it if it kind of cuts into things, then. Um, you know, it may not be good. So, how the easiest way for me to do this is going to be through my uh, through my Steam Deck, and I have an Xbox controller connected, which uh, is wired and actually does the job pretty well. No, we're not going to play Stardew Valley. <laughs> um, you know, some of these games are native. Um, some of these games, like Emulation Station, it's super easy for me to to go ahead and do this. Um. Because if I'm being, if I'm, no, I don't want to update it. If I'm being, if I'm being honest, um, to play this through my PC it would be a hell of a lot more difficult to do this in record. It wouldn't be able to handle it. So no surprise for my favorite section. <laughs> do I know? <laughs> I actually do. I'm really, oh, you know what? I think I might not have Jackal here since when I, um, when I upgraded my SD card, All right, let me find it. And specifically, I want the Nintendo version of Jackal. I know we have the arcade version, but in my opinion, the arcade version doesn't play as well. Oh, like a D-pad. Uh, let me go down here. So, and this list of ROMs isn't like every single ROM for the system. I kind of found like a best of collection. And if I had bothered that I was signed in, I could even do like retro achievements. Um, all right, let's favorite that. But... We're not going to mess with that today. Okay, let me go back to my favorites. Man, it's been a long time since I've logged in here. Okay, let me see how this looks in the corner of my the corner of the screen. Hopefully, it's not blocking too much. Um, so this game, I do want to talk about with this game. Actually, no, let's 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 load the beginning. Hold on a second. I'm not hearing any audio on my side. Which. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so this game, this was a packing game. Well, not a packing game. When I got my Nintendo, all right, itchy eye, man. When I got my Nintendo um, for Christmas, right, my parents had picked out this game, and this this was just like incredible. I didn't even know there was such thing as an arcade game. I didn't even like really recognize like Konami. Like I didn't really like, know of them, um, per se. I mean, I knew of them, but I, it wasn't like a like a label is what I'm trying to say. It was just you know. Later on, I learned whenever I saw Konami, they made good games. But the, but um, this game here, let's just hit start. The battle will make your blood boil. Good luck. Hold on a second. I need to, I need to adjust something on my end. There we go. Okay, so I just don't want to go deaf here. 
even though even though right now you all can't hear it, you know, for, for various reasons that I've explained. I'm still working on the audio, but okay. So okay, so the Konami isn't blocking the screen too bad. If it does get if it does get annoying, let me know. Ooh, wow, chat's already booming. Vague announcements. Yeah, vague announcements. Okay, let me pause. We go through this. Uh, vague announcements. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the <laughs> very vague. That's what Blaze does. It's like, come on. Uh, this is the yeah. This is the NES version. Oh, you like the arcade more? Okay. So I'll talk. So for this, yeah, this was a packing game. I know. Did, uh, I guess that I got for Christmas. I didn't even know about the arcade version. So this one was more nostalgic, and I also have the arcade version here on CoinOps. But and even with the analog stick, it's just the control isn't as good. Um. I wish, an, I wish an arcade version appearing on the arcade archives. Age and joke. Yeah, no kidding, right? The super pocket does. Yeah, I know they need to. They 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 need to. They really need to fix that. Um, they really they really need to fix that. Uh, you know, make it the, the VS. Because yeah, I, I I put out a short. Um, I put out a short on that, and uh, well. It was cool that it worked. The screen is really small. Okay. So, yeah, this with the D-pad, I, that's funny, I'm using the analog stick here. I, I feel controls well. So this game is a lot, like, so much more nostalgic. And the fact that you could do two players at the same, ah, at the same time. Let's restart. The fact you could do, uh, let's see. I'll come soon. It's yeah, I know, right? So the thing with it with Donut Dodo is listen, there's no oh, super proc is pretty much instant now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And really, there's there's no reason for them not to fix it because when we played, when we went ahead and played um the game of the month, and Donut Dodo was working fine. It was really, it was really working great. And um, you know, I don't understand why, you know, it's it's not working. Um, so, anyways, um, yeah, turns we have two, but I still like the game. Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I think they'll fix it. I think what it is is their security updates or something that they've done. They they need to do it because it's just yeah. I, and I now it's yeah when, when I when I when I made that short, I was like, man, this really sucks how smooth it. Well, it doesn't really suck, but it's nice how smooth it is here. It really sucks that it's not, um, you know, not this way. On um, you know. The other, you know, at least the VS. I'm not sure. It's probably like that in the EXP. I, I just, I would assume it. Um, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not sure though. But I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll get on to fix it. I did, I did mention it to Ryan on Discord, and he said he would look into it. Um, but yeah, they, not only did they, I'm adamant that they fix it just because it's annoying, but because it's like, hey, you can buy the version on Steam that I'm playing on, and there's no issue. <laughs> So come on, guys. It's ported over. So this game has a lot going for it. So it was neat. You can use this weapon. You can use your grenades. And you could have an upgrade system. And I know I could play like Gradius and all in games like that. But this, um, this is kind of the first time where I really got into a game that, uh, that really rewarded you from rescuing people and getting a higher score. And then you get to keep a better weapon. And the fact you could do two players at the same time. And it was, you know, it was great. Uh, me and my brother would play. I would have friends play and I was so good at the game. I could beat this without it, without dying or maybe like dying once. And so it was kind of neat because I could let my friends just like take the, you know, take as many lives as they needed to. And I played, Oh my God, I played this, the snot out of this game, like a lot. And like, it's one of those games too, where you get to know where like all the enemy positions are and everything. And I haven't yet beaten it, you know, as an adult um, request. The Curse of Ilmore Bay Genesis. I could see if I have that on here. I was going to say I haven't played that game. Um, yeah, no, I definitely don't mind. Uh, you know, if, if you guys want to see requests, I'll do that. I thought it might be more interesting also too to see like um, you know, the games that I want to have here come from the collection. But yeah, you know how it is. I, I like to be, I like to be interactive. Oh my god, my glasses are just okay. I don't know what it was. They were just like way too tight, like squeezing my head. Um, but yeah, this game is just super nostalgic. Like this is one of those games I could jump on and play like at any time. Kind of like, kind of like a Contra. <laughs> and 
And I can remember like the first, well, oh, not the boss yet, but like things like how this tank appears around the corner, like it's not random, right? So you could, after you play this game, you learn the patterns, you get the better missiles, so the, like the four-way shot, you learn, where to, you learn where to shoot it. Yeah, I, next time I need to like, I need to get retro achievements working. I mean, it does work, but you get signed out after a while because um, that is just a lot of fun. And you can also play like on the leaderboard. But just to be able to own a physical cart of this game again and the means to play it. And it's really neat, the cutscenes, like depending how well you do on the boss, it changes. Oh, and this part, like being able to like rescue people and like drop, like this interactivity, like really wasn't in games. And this is just, um, oh, what's a, what's a shoe in for Indy 4? Actually, I'm going to play another game, um, a Steam game that I wish would be a shoe in for Indy 4. Definitely. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to play that after this. Unless I, unless I get too uh, too sucked into this, but um, yeah, these little guys are annoying. You just have to like run over. Oh, the curse of Yomora Bay. Okay, well now I'm at, okay. I gotcha, gotcha. I'm sorry. Is that like is that a homebrew game? If if it is, I probably don't have it like loaded on here. So yeah, this boss, we got a bunch of tanks coming at us. You know, one at a time. So it's not too well. Sorry, one at a time until they all appear. In the, I think when I, there used to be a way you could like make it so they wouldn't. All, oh, and then dying hurts like so bad. And then in the bosses, especially, you don't get your dudes back. It's like, oh, it's just awful. Oh, cool. It's a Canadian channel member oh, playing playing games that I would like to see come to come to Evercade and kind of like what they mean to me and all that. Um, so yeah, the map that I just skipped by, <laughs> of course, you know, that was, you know, that was really neat in the, that other, that other cutscene. Dude, Shovel Knight. Oh my, if I, if I owned that legit, I would play that next. Yeah. Unless, unless Yacht Games is just too greedy. They, that, that belongs in the Evercade like so bad. Like, it's just like, oh, it's just like, it's super nostalgic, right? It needs to, it, it, oh my God, it just, it, it needs to, it needs to be there. I swear I thought there was something here. Maybe not. See if I can get a quick sip of water. But yeah, Shovel Knight, I think they had a demo. I played it and it, it was just like fantastic. I think they came out with too many versions of it and they wanted like 30, 20 or $30 a pop uh, for the different versions. So, um, but yeah, that, that, oh man, that would just be super cool to play in Evercade. See if I can kill the stupid thing. And, you know, and the, and the neat thing with the strategy to all this is that you do want to um, pretty much kill everything you can to get that high score. Uh, just because you get lot extra lives. I think you could do get like three continues, but you know, that, that was it. And I want to say this game kind of really kind of taught me about like having limited continues and they didn't tell you like how many continues that you get, you know, in this game, you just have to learn after the first time that you play it. And that's why it's so important to get all the people because when you get hit, I think you, you know, you lose like half or you lose X amount of people. You can't drop them off and you, you miss out on that high score. And there's like lots of stuff. So if I do this right, I should be able to, yes, see stuff like that. You learn. Um, yeah, I think it's the first time, or, <laughs> or Pete has caught me live for the few first time. Uh, all right. There we go. And then here you got, you know, you got kind of your branching paths and, oh. More points. And each every single level has one of those. And if you have retro achievements on, you can get a retro achievement for it. Oh, man, those damn planes. Ugh. Oh, that's right. I'm the, I'm the Steam Deck controller. I had turbo, but which really isn't necessary. Uh, actually, for your gun, it, it helps you out a lot more. But I think this game I can deal But yeah, this, I mean, oh my God, like, I mean, could you all just imagine like this on the VS? 
have your buddy pick up like another another controller do co-op uh speaking of which um yeah we've gotten a, a lot of good uh, participation in the poll and uh, i guess there's a lot of so there's a lot of people that, that don't mind like online play but there's a lot of people that are adamantly against it like they don't they don't want like blaze to focus on that so very interesting this all i can say is this next evercast is going to be so good kind of going over all that see if i can safely drop off oh you only played on the spectrum oh very, yeah konami had a lot of like for like msx and other computers so that, that's good to know it's on the spectrum Yeah, this game was just, I cannot believe. I think this is just like an underrated game. And I, I think that it's its popular enough where it's, nostal you know, it's a nostalgic, like, Blaster Master. But um, it's one of those things where I don't think a lot of people remember or got to play this game. I, this would be, like, just so good for the Everkid audience. You know, I would love that. And you know what? I would, I would totally go through and complete it again. Uh, you know, on a on Evercade. This, like I said, this is one of those games that I could just I could pop in and play, kind of like Double Dragon Two. Let's see, did I get everything here? And for the first time, like that stuff falling down, that would get you. But um. Yeah, I'll probably beat this. Yeah, I could go ahead and beat this whole game, but I do want to showcase a few different games. Wow. You think you preferred? Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, me too. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of it's like, even though this game is a lot like the arcade, it's just the nostalgia, and for me, it's, it's just... Plays better the D-pad, but yeah, kind of like the same. Even though like Double Dragon Two is very different. Okay, like this boss, you just you just shoot them in between here, I think, or you just no, you have to hit him head on. I'm sorry, you hit him head on, but notice that like it'll since I have like the the best missile, it'll get the one it'll get the one right next to it if if it open if it opens its mouth to block the shot. But yeah, I've tried playing the arcade version of this on coin ops, and just it, the controls just it's just designed for a joystick in the arcade. It's just not as you know, it's not as well. I don't know, maybe I can beat this game real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. If you beat the boss, I think without dying, you do really good. Then you get that cool screen instead of just like, oh, we barely made it. <laughs> so I really like that. I and mean, that was just like a nice touch seeing those like those up close graphics that, you know, for today, we just, you know, we kind of take for granted. I don't know. We'll have to see. I may have to complete it because this game, cause I kind of feel like I'm in the zone. I really do. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. I know that was right to the dungeon, but yeah, no, I would love... Uh, the thing with arcade carts is that, like, unless you actually had an arcade system, there's, like, no other way, really, to get... Ooh! You got an 8-bit to a fight stick. Oh! Very, very cool. That's awesome! Yeah, I bet that is... <laughs> oh, I bet it... I, I bet it does. I totally bet it does. Um, yeah, and with arcade carts, it's just... You know, so not only do you have the coolness of owning a physical cart. Hey, Sucker MC, we're playing some games that I'd like to see to come to Evercade. Good to have you here. Um, but yeah, I, I again, only the Atari collection. If I'd had to say a bad Evercade cart, it's because of the controls. Well, that's not the game's fault. It's just we don't have a trackball. I mean, yeah, anyways, my point is it's great to have a physical cart of the arcade because there's not, you know, those don't really exist unless you have like a Neo Geo or some other like CPS2 system or something. And um, we get these games that were released for the first time, like on a home console, and they're all always good. Like, I, I love the arcade carts. Oh, no. I was doing so good. So good. And then I pay the price. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, because you, you can you can in RetroArch. So they could do, they totally could do that. Um so, like, if we, well, we wouldn't get it because of licensing, but, like, Goonies won. Yeah.
Yeah, exactly, Gen Joe. Because it, it basically, yeah. It's basically like the same as emulating NES, like the same technology. You just have to press a button, like on the controller, so it, like it can flip over to the other side. But yeah, they totally, they they totally could do the disc system, just like Famicom, uh, and all you know, and all that. Yeah, they they totally, they totally could. Uh oh, um, I bit the dust there. I don't know. Yep. See, and the missile shoots like so, like so differently. There we go. So that's the other thing too is the grenade. You're just like, yeah. You really feel like you're lobbing it, and then it shoots a lot slower. So yeah, you get hella punished. Um, not as bad as like Gradius or I feel like R type, but still, you know. And there we go. There's the other one with the badge, but bad enough. Oh, okay. We're coming up to a cool thing here. At least I remember I thought it was cool when I was a kid. Physical arcade carts are awesome. I, I really hope we see a lot more of them. I'd admit, I play a lot of them in five-minute spurts. They're great. Yeah, exactly. Dude, exactly, exactly. Hey, one one inch biceps, Top Gunner, Top Gunner's arcade version of this. Um there's also like there's also like a jack I am not as familiar with Top Gunner, but there's also like a jackal arcade version of this too. I wonder yeah. Uh, but maybe I wonder if, if it's if it's called is, is it called Top Gunner in a different region because I didn't uh, yeah, I didn't know that. But yeah, I also like the aspect that you could still move and use this, which is weaker. But yeah, these lasers, I thought were like so cool, um, and they were a pain in the ass. I mean, they still are. See, they still are. Oh my god! I like you all saw that, and I still <sighs> maybe it's just that first one. Yeah, still a pain in the ass. <laughs> And I thought for certain I was going to dodge it. See, this happens to me. So, like, I feel like I get in the zone and then I get, like, too cocky. I don't know. Oh, okay. Top, okay. Top Gunner is Jackal. Gotcha. Hey, everyone who just joined. Good to have everyone here. I'm, I'm playing some games that I would like to see on Evercade that could realistically be on Evercade. And some of my favorite games that I've loved, you know, either Nostalgia or, or they're really great that I think people, yeah, regional names, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that I just think people should see, you know, and enjoy here. But yeah, I want to say that this Jackal is not a part of any other collection that I'm aware of. So I think just to like it really, we need to, you know, we just need to put it out there. Now it would be funny if some of the, if any of these games, like even one of these games that I that I kind of tease that I'd want became part of a collection. Hey Amber, great to have you here. Yeah, it is a great game, and I'd like. I would, I would, I. Hey, Time Eternal, good to have you here. I know I keep saying that, but I really it's really good to have you here. I'd like to the entire arcade archives and arcade unfortunately for like an happen. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but we'll take what we can. The jackal, yes, exactly. And it's just neat, like, you're, like, so, while there is, like, kind of, like, maze-like elements, unlike, let's say, some of, like, the Commodore, C64, or computer games, you're not hindered by the level design. And I think that's why I get frustrated when I play some of those on the C64 collection, because I'm used to this, to where you can still move around, but you're not, you're not hampered by it. Yep. And so this, you know, it's just, like... For me, this game was just like the epitome of learning how to beat bosses, like learning the timing, you know, and, and all that. Learning when they, when they're gonna come out, I'm like this. And you know, I remember at the time though, and, like encountering these for the first time were so hard. And then once I um, and once I beat them and figured out their pattern, really, then it wasn't. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna get another cool cut screen. All right, we're gonna get another cool cut screen here. We made it. Yeah. See that. And then I like how you can see the levels, so it teases you, right? I'd love to see Russian attack collection on the arcade VS both. Yeah, you know what? Yes, and also too, 
on um I have the Konami collection for the Game Boy Advance, and that port of Russian Attack is actually really good. Uh, but yeah, I, I remember renting Russian Attack and found that to be just as fun and frustrating. Um, okay, they call Russian Attack or, or Green Beret. And Ninja Gaiden Car. Oh my, yes, no kidding. God. Yeah, that game was tough, but great. On the Evercade, Turbo Graphics, 60, PC Engine, Konami, both Hue Card. Yo, that would be awesome. Ninja Gaiden also. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's right. There is an SMS version. Yeah. See, and even with like the more well known games, it just I think it'd just be great just to have these all like in one place, right? Just like it all in like one one spot, one collection. Uh oh. If you don't get these, if you don't get these things, yeah, that then that happens. Now I get the stinky grenades again. And I suppose it's better than nothing, right? The official Ninja Gaiden, the, the, the inefficient Ninja Gaiden Ford done NES style. Ooh. But yeah, after this game, there's an arcade action type game. Oh, where the hell did they go? That I that I do really want to play. That would be like great on arcade. I think there's landmines over there. And yeah, so the other... Whoa! Damn it! There's a few of those in the game. God. But what I was going to say is it's neat, though, when you like look in certain pockets and the place, you know, you know, and you find... And you find the things like that, um, like the dude to give you more, like, better missiles and stuff. Like, that was kind of like an exploration part. <laughs> yeah, right, sir? I know. And that's why I'm going to try... Believe me, as much as I'd like to play and pick like Batman for Sunsoft, I'm not going to pick that because I don't think, yeah, sadly so. I don't think that has a chance in hell because of the movie. But something like this, like Konami owns the rights, right? And they ain't making money off of this game on anything else. So why why not? Why the hell couldn't it come over here? There was an awesome Ninja Gaiden release for Beast Engine never brought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a, I think it, it's, uh, it's like a beat em up. It's more like a beat em up. Yeah, I know exactly. I think, I think it was maybe an arcade. I could be wrong, but I thought that was like a, a port of arcade version. Maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, okay. And then you had other cool stuff like the train. Oh my god! So the train will come up, and you can just let's see if I can do it. Yes. Now, and the great thing is retro achievements. When you destroy that whole thing, you get a retro achievement for it. Man, I really need to get that working. I just if you don't. And there's this stupid thing. If you don't log in enough, then says your token isn't active or something like that. Son of a biscuit! And that's the thing. This game keeps you on your toes, right? Which I kind of like, and it's kind of annoying. No, Ninja... Ninja Gaiden should be part of the Tecmo Bowl cart of NES games along with the inclusion of the Japanese sequels, Super Star Force, Silkworm mod version. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, maybe a ROM hack? Yeah, or like Brute, yes. That, you know what? That would be hilarious. Like, instead of, like, instead of Batman, they could call it Dat, like D-A-T, Datman or something. I'd be down with that. Like, in, like instead of, like, uh, Bruce Lee, they called it Lee. Yeah, I definitely, I'd be down with that. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna say I remember this boss being pretty easy. You just gotta kill all the dudes that spawn and just rinse and repeat. Okay, okay. So for this, like I could I could I could go on and, and I and I could play this like endlessly, but I won't. Because if I do, you know. Shoot, how do we get See, that's what I mean. I, oh. oh. I should have. Okay. I forgot it's the LNR keys. It's funny. I had to look over at my Steam Deck to see. Okay, okay. So, 
that definitely is one game. Now let me change. Actually, let me. Let me go out of this. Let me change the banner. And I think some of you might recognize the name. I am not sure who the developer is. But this, I mean, we've got we've got Donut Dodo. Now do the I don't I don't think I have um I don't think I have that. Right? I don't think I I don't think I have that. Um I may need to look, yeah. I may need to look into downloading it. <laughs> um you've heard of the okay. So Murtop. So yeah, this this is only a five dollar game. And um let me go to my collection. Yeah, this, it's only like a it's only like a five dollar game, but I you know, like everything else, I like to get it on sale. Let me go to new. Um yeah, I even have the Codra collection here. There we go. Murtop. So yeah, it's just like it's it reminds me a lot of oh crow, look at that, look at that. Crow owns it. <laughs> look at that. Um but yeah, this game, it's a lot like Dig Dug. Although it's, it's interesting because you do get unlimited continues. I kind of have mixed feelings about that because it is difficult to go for a high score. But look at this. It, it's, it's still, a, look, it loads like a ROM. Look, look at this. Look at this. It loads just like a ROM. I mean, how cool is that? Press L1 to insert coin. Press R1 to start. So yeah, basically you just press you gotta you gotta poop out the bombs. <laughs> it's just it's it's really neat, right? Like like this, I mean, like this needs to be on indie heroes for like like totally. And when you throw the bomb, you poop it, you poop it behind you like that. So it's different. It's it's you have to kind of get used to it. Yeah, shite. And you can blow yourself up and die, of course. And you want to get the carrots for maximum points. Woohoo! But yeah, this I thought would be just a really neat game to showcase. And look, see, like, look at the, um, they're able to still do the, well, not four by three, whatever the, you know, the Tate, the Tate scaling. And they, and they added this, uh, this cool, like, banner to really give you, give you the feel that it's an arcade. I mean, you'd almost would think this is like an arcade machine. All right, let's do that and not kill myself. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's made in Godot. Yeah, just like Jonah Dodo and Linen Cash Cow. Yeah, so I mean, that's yeah, it's it, 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 dude, it could totally run like it, it doesn't take much to run this at all. Like, I want to say that I have like. I have it on, oh, press the wrong game buttons. I have it on the lowest uh, lowest power consumption settings that, it, that, you know, that can be on the deck. Boom. But yeah, this is why I really like Steam. Like so much. I mean, I don't know if this, if, if this is on regular consoles or not, but I just, I just feel like Steam is just like an indie haven or like a, par a paradise. Ah, shite. It's like a paradise for indie games. No, oh, well, I did forget this. Now nah, it's about to get like super hard in a moment. Okay, it's on Switch. <coughs> yeah, I think Switch is everything. <laughs> nice. I know Dota Dota. I mean, it might be on the PS4 store now, but it wasn't like for the longest, like for the longest time. But yeah, I like this game. It's just, it's ridiculous. It is like just so ridiculous. And now it's starting to get a little bit more challenging. And like definitely when you create paths, you got to make sure you move out of the way. 
or they'll come they'll come and they'll get you. But yeah, this this needs to be an indie heroes four. I really don't see any reason why why it couldn't be. Um, Anna has strawberry donuts. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say no. Actually, there's another. Hold on a second. There's another arcade game that that that, that fits within this genre like perfectly. And uh, actually, I want it to be a surprise. I want it to be a surprise. So I'm going to switch back to here while I bring it up. I want it to be a surprise. And um, I'm not going to add the banner yet until. And some of you all may have heard of, of this one. Let's make sure I spell it right. Okay, yeah, I did. All right. Of course, it has to do. Of course, it has to do a quick update. Luckily, luckily, it's only like eighty-eight megs. But you know, that's it's like, of course, there has to be an. Of course, there has to be an update. Super hiking league is Cosmo gang. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's just say if you like Joust, you might like this game. If you like, if you like Joust, all right. Now I'll switch up. I'll switch over. Yeah, see, this is also kind of neat. Initial tests, factory settings. I mean, make it like it's an arcade ROM. He was invaded, slayed the galaxy. If anybody can guess it yet? Anybody can guess it yet? I uh, just showed the <laughs> ah, I did a little job too. Yeah, press start to. All right. Galacticon. Yeah, I love this game. Again, I think this is only yeah. Galact uh, game is this? Yeah, Galacticon. I think it's only like a five dollar, like a five dollar game. But, but what's like? You could tell, like, like, look at that, like, you know, you could see the, um, like, like the, like the Galaxian, um, the Galaxian beams. So what you have to do, ah, oh, what you have to do is you have to see these, like, these, like, little dudes that are up above, like this brown guy. That's an that's an alien species, and you've got to bring them in the cage, right? And you want to try to group the same type together. You get more of a bonus. So I want to put that there. And what's really neat too is you can um, you can scan a QR code and put in your high score. So I really I really like that. And what's what's really neat is you'll see. So after you complete this, you have to go up and like fight a boss. And there's certain secrets to figure out. Like if you go up and you don't fire, it might be the first one. If you don't fire or shoot at anything, you get like a bonus. But it's pretty neat. And they kind of give you clues like on the high scoreboard, like how to get that. Um, again, this is maybe only like it's maybe seven dollars. I don't know, but it's it's a really cheap game, and th this like dude, this like needs to be on Evercade. Can ever well? Couldn't they like? Okay, it's on. Can, can Community not be ported to Evercade? I know Godot is easier. Or would they have to port it to Godot first? Or I don't know. I don't know nothing about, you know, about like how easy or difficult it is for programming. But yeah, ooh, and then once you get, and I think too, like some of these, ah, uh, some of these dudes, and they shot them. Some of these dudes that you capture, like some of the colors don't like each other. So if you mix the wrong, you mix the wrong one, they'll they'll they'll, they'll kill one of the other ones. I think if they're just outnumbered, they will. So yeah, oh, I got invincibility. And you can see at the top of the screen where it says next, like that means there's, there's going to be a blue one coming by, and I really need to get that. Okay. There we go. So now you got to return to your ship. And I want to say, if I remember right, if I don't shoot anything, oh, or, one of them is if you don't shoot, one of them is if you don't die. I don't know. I may have screwed the pooch on that, though. Ugh. <sighs> 
<laughs> Level. I've been told the game is much more. Huh. Well. See, and then you get your bonuses and all that. I can actually show you how much RAM this game uses here in a second. Best fire to continue. Let's pause. So I can actually hold on. I've got to press the, the steam button here because I don't. Okay. Now can I use this to? Yeah, that's funny. So if we go down to the overlays and yeah. The Steam Deck is just like is a total is like like geeks uh, geeks paradise here. So if we take a look and I'll run it, so it's only using. We have to see how much RAM. Well, it's using one point three VRAM, but it's only using three point two. So not too much, but yeah, I hear I hear what you're saying though, Gen Joke. Oh man. See it can get the it can get the dudes there. But yeah, this man, this game is just so good. Uh uh. Didn't mean to combine the alien the different types of aliens. And sometimes you just have to kind of take take what you can get here. So we get another red. No, I didn't really notice where like the scan lines are on for this, but it doesn't really like look that bad. Ooh. Which uh which king of the which king of the fighters? Like 98 or 99 is one of the better ones. Okay, maybe this is the one where you don't shoot. I think maybe the first one was you don't die. We're going to find out. Oh, God. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Ah, game over. The original. Oh, I'm sorry. You said Fatal Fury. Oh, Fatal Fury, King of the Fight. That's right. Okay, so here if I put an Ed... Then if I wanted to, then there'll be a QR code. See, and I could actually scan that. And then you can see it. So, I mean, it's really neat. All right. Let me quit out of this. And, um, yeah, it's, I'm not sure what it, yeah, let me Let me take out that o the overlay. Yeah, I definitely I don't I don't disagree with you at all on Fatal Fear. Actually, you know what? Let's we can we can we can we can go for it. We can we can load we can load Fatal Fury. Because they're like, so Fiddle Fury is, <laughs> even though the original one is not by any means the best, it's extremely nostalgic. I remember seeing it back in the day and being like, oh, well, you can only pick like three fighters, but you could kind of like move um, on the on the screen. So yeah, through via coin ops, I should have it. You know, you can like move, you can like move on the screen, like to the, diff the different four and back foregrounds and backgrounds. But God, I so realistically, like, I would probably want like maybe like real battle fatal fury one of the other ones uh or king of the fighters but yeah this one was just oh my god so good okay let's go into this oh no i did not do that
Okay, yeah, it's both of those. So let me see. Sports, racers, shoot 'em ups. This should be uh, Fight Club. Yeah, and I mean, this pretty much like has everything you'd, you'd, you'd want to play. Uh, Fatal Fury Special. Is it not a regular Fatal Fury? All right, well, we may have to, we may, we may just have to deal with Fatal Fury Special. Have you ever played Conger on Steam? It's a combo of Popeye and Donkey Kong? No kidding. No. I have not, but I, I think it sounds like I need to. So yeah, you've got a bigger roster here. But yeah, we need like... That's right, you have to like select your enemy. I will fight this dude. But like Terry Bogart is my go-to. That is like you know, my, my kind of like my Ken or Ryu. We need to look at Kongir. Oh my god, I'm probably gonna suck at this like so bad. Okay, this does also have the fat the foreground and background. Yeah, so this is like really neat. Yeah, and so different versions. Yeah, burn knuckle. Ah, uh, I I really suck at this. It's been too long, but I mean, imagine like being able to have this like in a physical cart format would just be oh, so amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I lost. I know. I lost. I just, I really suck at this. This, see, the problem, like, the D-pad on this controller is, now I can still do special moves. It's a lot smaller than I would like. Like, the Evercade D-pad would be, like, so good here. But, yeah, definitely, like, Fatal Fury um, would just be so good. I mean, like, oh, my gosh. Like, being able to interact with the backgrounds like this and, I mean, my preference, I'd probably rather see, like, World Heroes 2. Yay! I actually beat a freaking match. I'm going to do it. Right, after this, I'm going to take a look at Kong here. Oh, come on now. It's match point. I am so out of touch with fighting games. It's not even funny. <laughs> it's not even. It's not even funny, folks. Come on. <laughs> this, I forgot. It's kind of a cool, but kind of annoying. This back background foreground thing as well. Everyone that's just entered in the chat or playing games um, that I'd like to see come to Evercade and also doing like some requests. You know, I might also do like a, just a request night of just uh, of just like retro games. All right, yay! I suck. All right, all right. Let's. All right, let me back up. All right, let me back out of this. Let's. I want. Oh, oh, Darius. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, let me go. All right, since I opened the door to request, I mean, but Darius, that dude, that is that definitely is a game I, I do would want to see on Evercade. So that works. We'll get to that. Let me let me see. Let me go to Steam Store. Hey, Phantom Fiction. So, channel member, you're one of the people that. Oh, let me switch back here. So you're one of the people that requested this to like do a video on you know on games I'd like to see come to Evercade. And so I thought for, for tonight I would do that live, also taking some requests of some games we'd like to see uh, that would be possible to come to, Ever to, to Evercade as well. So I know it was you and a few other people requested like, hey, what you know, what would you like to see? Um, so yeah, I played I played a few of those so far. Now I do I am going to check out um, you know 
Kong Gear. Kong Gear. Huh. Wow, and it's like super cheap right now too. Um, I want Kali Defense. Oh, Kali Defense. Okay, Game Boy Advance. I all right, all right. So I've never heard of this. Dude, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Yes, you weren't kidding. And this came out in 20 2022. I'm gonna have to buy that. Huh. So check this out. The game is, is is three bucks. But if you buy this bundle, you get that game plus <laughs> something else. So it's like cheaper than the game itself. Buy Conger oh or Conger Tank. Yeah. Well it show me any. Kong Gear, Star Tank. Oh, okay, that looks like another. Very cool, though. Includes two items. Yeah, so this one it includes buy if you buy, <laughs> if you buy Conger Tank. That's what you get in the bundle: Conger and Star Tank. Conger tank. That's pretty cool. You know, I'm gonna for a buck fifty. Yeah, I'm I, I'm in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Sorry, that's what I meant to. I'm gonna have to totally pick this up. Yeah, this game is just right up my alley. That's great. That is great. If you buy Shovel Knight, you can give it a try and see if it'll... No, yeah, no, no, yeah, I know. I'll, that I'll have to wait until I have a sale, um, definitely. Um, dude, so, yeah, we got Cathedral. Kind of, yeah, kind of similar, but very, but very, very different. All right, so you want, okay. Darius, yeah. Darius is a, uh, yeah, that's like a class, that is like such a good... Darius. D-A-R-I-U-S. Darius. Of course, we know it's arcade. Uh, but yeah, I should have that here on, on. I should have that here on Coin Ops. So yeah, like just like a Darius, like a Darius collection would be like really would be like really really good. Um, oh, you know what? You all can't see what I am doing. And uh, Racer Sports shoot 'em ups. There should be. There should be like. Should be shoot 'em ups, arcades, all games, settings, popular sports, racer. Here we go. The thing I do like about this this um coin ops in the Steam Deck, it comes with all the games, so you don't have to mess with anything. Uh... Oh, did I patch it? Pass it? A B C. Don Pachi. Don Pachi, which of those are also their Dragon Reader. I know Darius is on here. Unless it's just like not in alphabetical order. Is it really not on here? All right, hold on before. Unless if it's on my favorites, I wonder if it removes it from theirs. So let's let's see. This is good on to this is good on to D. D A R I. <laughs> huh, Dark Stalkers. Maybe because you know what? I know why. Maybe because it's multiple screens. Yeah, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. No, we don't have. <laughs> we can't do it. We can't do it. We can't 
do it. It's not here. It doesn't exist in the world. Let's see if I can, if I, well, I'm here, if I can pick another shooter. Oh, what do I have on my favorites? Ooh, I got the 1941s, got Afterburner. Bad dudes. Set of, oh my God. I might have to, oh, Donkey Kong is so good. All right, you know what? Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Oh my. So if we were to get more Capcom games, I know I should put the thing up on the screen, but I'm, oh, and I didn't do it right again. Wait. Oh, I know what it is. I am so sorry. It helps if I can actually use StreamYard. It really helps if I can use StreamYard. Um, but yeah, let's do a little bit of, a little bit of Cadillacs and dinosaurs. If we get another Konami collect, I mean, sorry. I don't know. I think it's you. If we could get an, uh, more Capcom games or like an official Capcom cart, this would be so good. I remember just like, <laughs> so I first played, I first played this uh, actually an emulation, like in the in the late nineties. Um, I think it was just called like the CS or CPS two or CS emulator, and it just had like all the Capcom games. And it was just like really, like really, like freaking cool. And I do remember also like playing this in the arcade as well. Uh, but I, I, I could have that wrong. But I want to say I played this in the emulator first, and then, and then seeing it in the arcade, like, yeah, hey, I, I, I played this game. <laughs> but yeah, this is just like one of those crazy, just like Capcom like beat 'em ups. It's just like so good. Um, but if we want to go back to some more pixel. Some more like pixel art like type games. I think I can I think I can find something at some other like cool like indie game. Oh I was, okay. I thought of a good one. All right. I thought of a good one that I think maybe most of you may not have heard of. I think I, I thought of a really good one here. Called ooh, called Hunt Down. Hunt down, hunt down. Okay, okay. Okay. I will I will check that out too here, Phantom. I played Connie Chu 100%, the clone of Popeye. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let me just, you know, let me just beat this boss and we'll check out those other games. Man, he has this like poor dino here. So here's the thing, right? Notice I'm playing all this through like Quinops X um, or emulated. Like you can get the Capcom collections, but the problem that I have is that like I, I want to say like the Capcom 2 collection. There's like gray borders at the top or bottom. And sadly, it's one of those ones where I think Capcom is just charging like way too much money for what you get. And just like it, it uses a lot of power. Like it's not optimized at all for the Steam Deck, at least, you know, last time I checked in the menus. And you can just, I can get better, I can get better battery life and all that. And then they just want like, God, what, two to five bucks a game? And it's just like, come on now. I feel like that's a little bit, you know, that's like a little bit much. Um, Unlike some of the Konami collections that I have, where it was just like, yeah, get it on sale, five dollars for the whole thing. I think, I think maybe I would do that because, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind like, actually owning these if Capcom would do that. Ugh, all right. So, okay. So I did quit out of that. Let me. Okay, let me look. So Phantom, let's hunt down. I need to hold on a second. I need to make a list because I don't want to lose Kong gear. <laughs> In my notepad, I'm just gonna put cool games. Cool games. Okay, Kong gear. And hunt let me just do a search for hunt down. 
Hunt. Down. Oh, you know. Oh, this is on my wish list. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, no. You know what? Oh. I think this might have been, oh, I could kick myself. I think this is one of the ones that was on the recent Steam sale. Oh, and maybe for like, wait, am I sharing it now? For like five bucks or so? Yeah. Yeah, it's on my wish list. So yeah, this this game, let me just, yeah. No, this is really cool. This is definitely, when it goes on sale again, yeah, it's verified. I could, I could, I could totally, I could totally see getting this at some point. Yeah. But for me, as long as I have like games to play, I just I just don't I really don't like to pay retail. <laughs> if it's a five dollar or less game, sure. And even then, like I don't know what it is. Is sometimes just getting a better deal. You're like, yeah. And then um, don't forget. Okay, okay, yeah, we'll we'll check that out. The NES version on every case. Oh, what about Dragon Dragon Spirits? Yeah, we have, yeah, we have, yeah, that's true. We do have the NES version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the arcade, that would be cool. Give me both. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, if a game is five bucks and it's like, like on sale, it's like three something with the tax, it's four. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Dragon Spirit. Dragon Spirit is on Namco too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Luke Gone. All right, of course. Gone too. All right. Let's type in 99. Oh, dude. Okay, okay. Okay, just sharing. So, yeah, check this out. Like, <laughs> yes. Gone to is a three stage arcade style game based earliest arcade. Collect 10 letters. Yes. Yes. Three screen. Oh, my God. Let's see. Yeah, and it's not, and it's ninety nine cents. This is oh, wow. It's not even on. It's not even on the uh, Steam database. Normally, there's a. I'm gonna have to hold on a second. Let me see if anybody's gotten this turn on deck. I mean, it looks like it could run. I mean, hell, it's only ninety nine cents. But yeah, like these are exactly like the kind of games. Oh, it's an, okay. It, it's share this tab and said it's native, so that should work. That means it, it's it's Linux, so that that should work. But yeah, yeah, I love games like that, and it's like the right and it's, it's like the right price too. Like you can't, you can't, um, you can't go wrong with that, really. Oh, dude! All right, you know what? Let's. Let's load up Vulgar, and you can see me fail miserably, miserably at that game because it's hard. It's like so challenging. Let's do it. Yeah, Vulgar the Viking. I I got that like a long time ago. That's the new legend I'm talking about. The arcade game, the soundtrack really cool. Okay, 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 cool, cool. I can worry about removing the older banners later. Yes, no, that this is like, oh my god, this this game really, really needs to be on there. I just have to find it. That's a problem. Like that's like the problem. I have like so many. Let me see if it's under my favorite. Oh, there's even another. Oh yeah. I just the funny thing is going through this list. I just see like five more, five more games. Oh. Okay, then I got I got something special after that, uh, and um, people are fans. Of, I don't know if they could get it because the license, but they're fans of Mystery Science Theater. What? It's not here. I own it, but oh, I'm gonna use the virtual keyboard. V. 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 V.
Yeah, this game is – oh, my God. Okay, here we go, Bulger. Bulger the Viking. Oh, I need to install it real quick. So, yeah, you have to forgive me because um, I upgraded my – the inter I had, like, the 64 – gig hard drive and i upgraded that to like the 512 and so a lot of these games i haven't reinstalled but the, steam makes it like so easy right and it's only this this game is only 151 megs so totally um yeah it's it's it, it's a great game blazing chrome is on sale okay okay cool collie defense is a new defense oh, for, oh dude I, I love it the name call like I just imagine like like dogs like collies and fit yeah that I, I don't even know what it is and I already love it crash line <laughs> all the games I mentioned on Steam are well on Steam I have esteemed okay oh I, oh like the arcade version of Afterburner yes yes I do yes I do okay so yeah this like loaded up like instantly yeah you can see I've got too many Steam games over the years. <laughs> I know, like, I think at some point there was, like, a limited, like, edition, like, ported to, like, the Dreamcast, but. Watch the right to your quest. Yeah, this, oh, this game is so hard. And you have to, like, I I, I think there's maybe save points. I forget, not really saves, but checkpoints. Oh. What? There we go. It was too close. But yeah, this is just, I mean, oh. like this is one of those games that's like the definition of indie. Like, I, I freaking love it. There we go. Like, we need, oh my god, like we need this. Um, Definitely, like, like it's like at some point, I'm, I'm sure, you know, especially getting ideas from this, I will probably do like my top three or top five games that like need to come to Evercade. Like for sure, for sure. Oh yeah, I want to go to the right. I'll see how many, because I, I, I know you all are digging this. Um, if this also gets like a decent number of views on the replay, then that tells me also that like people are, people are into this and want it as well. Yeah, these bees... Ah, that's right. And if you have no shields or no armor, you die. <laughs> you die. You die. But yeah, it's kind of like, I own this here, but I would totally buy this again as part of at least like a dual cart or something. Pfft. Come on now. Yeah, you go way back there. Um, Have you checked out the Sega Genesis Retro, Retro Streets of Rage games? It might be yeah, dude. No, I, I love, oh my God. I love Streets of Rage. So on the PS4, I actually like I I bought like that pack. Yeah, I've got that on here. Yes, thank you. Oh my god. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I love yes, it is totally like rest on. Um yeah, the discovery sharing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. No, this is a this is a lot of fun. Um You know, I figured, I mean, yeah, so I'm a dedicated Evercade channel. I figured, you know, I can get away with, you know, what games would we like to come to Evercade? Uh, obviously, I'm not going to load up, like, you know. And that's kind of the thing with the stream is that, like, it can't be, it can't be something like Dark Cloud that's not going to load. Like, if I had, like, I don't think I have any 64 ROMs loaded on this, but like, I would maybe entertain, like, certain games. Not like Zelda. Um, you know, being able to be ported over. And obviously, like, something like, you know, like, Baldur's Gate 3, like obviously that not. But yeah, and, and anything within the realm of, you know, if it's like like a Disney afternoon, well, I don't know, Disney afternoon, but it's kind of like, you know, even something like that is kind of is kind of stretching it. But yeah, those are pretty much the rules, like you know, something that like, like realistically, like li like license wise and specs wise, we could we could get. I'll, yeah. <laughs> Although what I what I might do, because yeah, I'm I'm like really leaning towards like the birthday stream. What I might do is like you know, 
I might be like, it's my birthday and I can play whatever I want. And then maybe, and then maybe I'll play like some rogue, maybe I'll play like some roguelikes and whatnot. <laughs> you know. Then I then I could then I could break the rules. Whoa, whoa! Dude, I don't know if I've gotten that item before. It's like full armor and everything, but man. Okay, you can't throw... Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I couldn't throw stuff. What's down here? Death? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, let me catch up here. I'm really looking forward to Taito's arcade release of Rastan. Oh, I know, right? <coughs> That would be that would be great. Um, your channel is awesome. I love it. I'm I'm so good with just yes. No, thank you. I <laughs> that's the whole thing. Like sharing game. I mean, it's like every kid is the thing that brings us together, but within that genre. Um, oh, I was gonna, I, yeah, I I think so. I could have. I I I own that. Right. I own that. Um. But yeah, other than like. So other than other than Evercade, like for a digital system, you know, like the Steam Deck is perfect for me for like for like this reason. And I want to say currently on the market, I think for battery life, for playing like like games like this that don't take up as much power, I want to I want to say that um that Steam Deck is still the best like for getting battery life on your on your like low or like on your low to mid power games. You know, and like I didn't like and. And, you know, like, for the most part, like, how Evercade is it's plug and play. Like, I didn't really, I didn't have to do anything. I just installed, I, actually, no, I didn't. I just installed the game. I didn't even have to map any buttons. I swear to God, I don't remember this. I wasn't letting me throw spears. Um, so, yeah, like, Steam Deck is lack of, you know, back of letter. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Oh, no, I know another. Oh my god. I uh, I know another retro game that we need. Yeah, I gotta add. No, I gotta add this to my favorites. Okay, okay. I know another retro game that we need, like really bad. I just thought of it. <clears throat> I just thought of it. And see, I'm trying to also like pick games too that uh. that um maybe not everyone's aware of let me make sure i spell this right probably something i should you know not say out loud <laughs> all right but yeah no, this is definitely like a very fun like share i don't know what i don't know why this stupid thing it's like okay get rid of no oh because there's a new update okay so there's been some talk of Sega. Ooh, PC Engine we could do too. But Sega Genesis! Autonomous Wave, hell yeah. But like, there's not stuff that's going to run there. Da -da -da. Let's see. If this isn't added to my favorites, it needs to be. Da -da -da. Elemental Master? Oh my god, this game. Forget who makes this, but yes, this, like... Oh. Yeah, I know, right? See, we get that, that error that says, like, the... the an error message of the stupid token, but whatever. Oh, this is actually like okay, a wait, is this license? Oh no, this is renovation. That's right. Okay. Yes, this is made by renovation, like renovation collection too. Like, why didn't we get this on on renovation one? Like this was this is like one of their best games. Okay. Select the stage. I'll do the first one. See so you okay, so like. I, if I press, if I press X, I'm shooting backwards. If I press A, I'm shooting up. And then Y and B don't do anything. And the screen constantly scrolls. I need turbo for this though. Okay, so let me let me go into the menu. 
And this is why I so Turbo Fire. Ah, oh, I can only do. Let's see. I think because because there's wait there's two buttons I want. <laughs> oh. You can't add more than one turbo button. Usually for most games, you only I only need one turbo button because of the different ways that I'm that I'm facing. Uh, toggle. Okay, so so I, I can toggle it. And the default. See if I if I do R two. Okay, if I do R two, that I should be able to toggle it on, right? Okay. Let me unpause. No. Yeah, so, but normally for just that one, for just for like one button, it's easy to turn on. But it is easily built into RetroArch. So that's kind of why I was giving Blaze a hard time. Ooh, five credits. I should do it on a different level. But, okay. But you can do this. Default turbo button. Let me just put it to A. Not toggle. This classic. So now I should be able to resume. Start. Ah. <laughs> Maybe this game for some reason, but I swear to God, that's like that's how easy it is to. <laughs> Gives Blaze a hard time about Turbo. But I swear that's like how easy it is. Normally you can just pick which button you want to be turbo. Maybe because I didn't save it, I don't know. But I, I don't want to dig around. But look how look how great this, this game is. And it's just like, oh. And it's on Renovation Collection. Like, why didn't we get this? You know what I mean? Like, why? Whoa. You only get one life. Who do we have here? Reminds me of Mercenary Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Okay. I know what we're going to pick. And of course, it's funny you would think like with the Steam. Okay. I wish Dr. Dr. Robotnik's Bee Machine. Like, how great would that be? Aha. Uh -huh. So, actually, it's, it's off of PC Engine CD-ROM. Lords, so there's two, ver so there's the Lords of Thunder on this, and there's also um, the Sega CD version. I get, I get rid of Elemental Master. Yeah, and I'm sure this is like a spendy one. But see, like, I know they'd have to license the BIOS probably. But, the, you know, there you go. Loads of it. Lords of Thunder. I mean, the great thing is Turbo Graphics games will be able to run on this. And the CD version is, you know, it's the same thing except just better better graphics. But this, this shooter, it's very much an arcade feel. One of the things that I noticed between comparing this to the Sega CD is when, like, you go in and talk to the merchant, like, it talks to you. It feels more like an arcade configuration. <laughs> Look at that. Super normal heart. No, we're going to do normal. I swear you could change lives. But other than the other than the music, which is great too, like you get to choose what level you want to start to go with. I'll choose this. And, th and then you get to pick your... I want to say water is what I usually like. Yeah, Lords of Thunder is perfect for arcade. It's, it's part of the yes, Hudson Sunsoft collection too. Yes, and so what I like here is it's like the arcade. You feel like you can totally like buy stuff, and you want to buy, you want to buy power. At least that's what I like to. And then you exit. But if you get hit in this game, it is so it is so punishing. Okay, yeah, I can hold it. I can hold it down. And see, I can also even use like the analog stick. 
Ah, uh, see, I got a little bit hit there. Like this game, like screams like a joystick would be like so would be like so good. But I mean, man, I just I like love the graphics and everything, and it's this is just like such a unique shooter. It's really hard though. I've beaten like the save states. I think I've beaten the first few levels, but it's like has like a lot of high risk reward. Ah, if I got another power orb, that would have been great. But yeah, we 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 need we need turbo graphics like so bad. Like that's not even like an option. Just come on, Konami, give us that. I'm I'm hoping since there is fewer carts, I mean, there's what, 10 carts this year? Or is it 12? I don't know. But that's fine. We're getting less. I'll be curious to see what this hardware is. Um, you know, as I stated in my video that, you know, when the announcement was today, they're, they're probably going to be super pockets. And I don't think Blaze would have a separate list for Hyper Megatech. Not because there really isn't much. And I could be wrong on that, but we'll we'll find out. But yeah, this game is just, oh my god. Like, here's the Irish reward. Like, this thing is a pain in the ass. But if you kill it, you get, like, a lot more power-ups. Oh! Did you talk about the new hardware announced on the road? Uh, yeah, I, I actually, I did come out with a... I did come out with a video um, earlier... Try wind. I came up with a video where yeah, I did get a lot of first impression. Okay, 12 cards. See, that's not that's there's just I think too much of a space, but that, that's the normal what they do. Yeah, yeah. No, there, there probably are super pockets. I'm almost positive. Analog controller. Um, so for me, like I would be perfectly happy using my my this Xbox controller. What I do like if they if they have an analog controller, then that's gonna force them to add analog support, obviously. And so then you could plug in any controller that has analog and just use it. But th then at the same time, for people who want to have that, that would be great. Now, if the controller was like 20 bucks, then maybe, uh, you know, that's not like super expensive. You know, it might be something I would look into, especially, you know, but my guess is they do that. It's going to be like wireless and probably cost more, which wouldn't be too bad. Oh my God, I'm getting my ass handed to me here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this would be game over. There we go. I pressed the right. I pressed the right buttons. Um, so yeah, that game would just be fantastic. And so here, I just, I just kind of have just like a curated. It's kind of funny. Like we've got like our type complete. I don't know if we could get like star. And there's also Gate of Thunder. I don't know if that's... Um... Let me see if there's another... Oh, uh, uh, like Batman. Hey, and we have... We have... We have Kadash. Ah, oh, no, that's really good. Oh. Galaga 88. See, and this is why normally I don't like emulation because you just scroll through the list like, what do I want to play? Um... Maybe a VS. You see, I, I wondered if they would do that. Like, And I think somebody before the announcement was allegedly VS XP that are discontinued. So new versions. Okay. That would make more sense. That would make the most sense. It's like, okay, the, the, they don't have the license of Capcom and maybe they don't have any games built in and it's cheaper or, yeah. No, that would be too. Sean said on this. Okay, he said that, but then, okay, okay. If that, okay, so, okay. So if that is if, um, Hablamos, if that is true, then I think that's going to be another. It's going to probably be like an EXP and a, and a VS. I heard somebody say they might do like a VS Lite, like it doesn't have Wi-Fi or something like that. Um, oh, not someone who is with Evercade. Yeah, see, that's uh, yeah, that's the thing. Then for new hardware, yeah, I think they're going to be. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it from Authority. Yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. Um, we would never get Jackie Chan for licensing. Never. I would. I would love that with a passion. Um, but what we should get? Okay. Here's what. I, here's what we should get. 
the splatter, the Japanese uh, uh, splatter house with the better hobby mask. Okay, but I just don't want this to be, all, all, you know, only, only MU. Let me. There was another. There was another really. Okay, let me go to roguelikes, my favorite genre. So you see some of these ones are. Um, yeah, Slay like the Spire. Highly, highly recommend. I don't. I, I, I something like. Exit the Gungeon, I would I would love that. Um, okay. Here, okay. So these two games here, Dungeon! Like Instant Dungeon. Again, I've got it. Man. That's a Eula. I have to install it. But you can see, like, it's going to... So this game, this screams being on, like, Indie Heroes. This game is so good. It's very, it's like, it's, it's very, it's very, very simple. Yeah, let me put it on the screen here. Those people are interested in these games. In Stint. Instant Dungeon. There we go. If I'm able to type stuff. Exactly. Yeah, I know some. Uh, yeah, I know it's gonna. I know sometimes people say it's just speculation. I love. I love speculation. It's so much. It's it's so much. It's so much fun. Uh, more request. Oh, Dilio. Oh, dude, Dilio's the arcade version. Ajax. Thunder Dragon. Okay, okay. Pronounced. Hecha Mecha. Oh, okay. What if the new Super Pockets are now Evercade Super Pockets? See, that's possible too. See, that's that's possible too. Um. And do you think for people wanting arcades, games from Ham... That would be great. Yes, yes. I think that that would be a realistic license. Hey, Eric Harper, good to have you here. Great to catch a live hangout. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Um, and basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of going through, taking some requests. I, I, I'm going to do a separate request, too, but showing games um, that, like, I think should belong in the Evercade, that that I would like to see. Some, some, you know, some retro and some indie. This game will use... See, and I... And like, I didn't have to do, and that's also why, like, I use Xbox, an Xbox controller. Uh, this isn't this isn't like officially made by Xbox, but it's licensed, and it was only twenty five dollars off of Amazon, and it's wired. It's pretty good. Um, it's funny because like Vulgar the Viking didn't have to like didn't have to do any of this nonsense. It just it just launched um, after I installed it. So it, it really it depends on the game. That is maybe the little downside is when you do first launch a game, but there's other like you know, like libraries that the PC needs, it'll done on the background, but it'll automatically like pick a controller or anything else. Uh oh, I'm out of water. I'm gonna have to go get coffee. Come on now. And this is where I'm just like, you know what? Am I punished? Should I um <laughs> Okay, I, you know, I was I'm like, let me grab my super pocket that's over there. I should have just grabbed. I should just grab that. Um, so this doesn't have cloud saves, so like I've lost all my saves. For the, which, which you, you just like unlock progress, but um, this I got a long time ago in bundles, but it's pretty neat. So there's different modes. Like the first one you're gonna use is the action recipe, and it's a one hit kill, and then you have to reach level twenty. You unlock some of these other modes. But what's neat about this game, God, this game is so addicting. So you want to, um, you need to get the key to open the door and you can only hold one weapon at a time and coins give you points. I think it's just for a score and you'll see, it'll become more relevant. Like, okay, so now there's a dude, I can throw him this dagger. See? And then now I don't, I don't have any other weapons. Now I have another dagger again. You can get like a helmet and it's, it's, I want to say it's randomly, yeah, it's randomly generated. Pretty sure. Okay, I'm down here. See, ah, see, I missed it. Now the thing is broken. <laughs> but I'll shoot him again because I want to show you the like. So you can get a shield. Oh, come on now. And if you get a shield, if I hold down the button, see, I move slow. But look, and he went in. I didn't. I didn't die. And you can also get a helmet. But this is just like this needs to be like on Indie Heroes Four. It's so good. I got the yeah, I got this in a humble bundle I got years ago, but I want to say this is still still fairly cheap. 
Okay, and then you have like bosses. Okay, so I, I unlocked weak sauce. That mode. Which weak sauce is you, I'm pretty sure they call it weak sauce because you have three lives. Like it's not like a not one life and you start over. Um, which is fine, but it makes it a lot more exciting, right? Okay, I go through here. Yay! Ooh, and then the axe. That's a good weapon. It can, I think, hit multiple enemies. Oh, and see, see now, and I picked up that shield, so if you run over another item, it trades it. There we go, now I have it back. And then see, it's starting to get dark in here. Let me get it back again. And um, when you do, when you do, like, get the key to unlock the door, it goes, Woo! when you go to the next level, it goes like, hallelujah. That's kind of funny. I don't know. Hallelujah. And I can't pause. Da -da 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 -da. Thanks a lot, Bill. I can't pronounce that. Nice. See, I should get a commission from all these companies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just this. It's just so. This is just like so addicting. This game. It's like it's so simple, but you'll see. Like when you die, you're like, oh, I want to. I want to try again. He did a two page. Oh, gotcha, Power Man. Hey, Enrique. Hey, Ed. This the shirt looks cool. I thought it would be a Rainbow Halloween shirt. Not sure. It looks cool. Yeah, it's a Freddy. Yeah, I got this at the Spirit Halloween store. It's a, it's a, it's a Freddy shirt. So uh, usually I only wear it on Halloween, but we're doing something a little bit, a little bit different. Um, so I thought it was kind of like fitting or could be seen as the dark side. Okay, so there's that helmet that I was talking about. And the helmet's neat. I think you have to get hit in the head. Let me shoot this guy. And but, but see, but see the difference. Okay, you press the button and you wear it. Can I? I don't know. Can you have this with another item? Possibly. Let me see. Does it replace my item? No, it doesn't. So you can actually you have you have to put the helmet on, but it gives you an extra hit. Uh oh. Okay, I thought it was gonna be cornered for a second. I want to, I think an, I don't know if it's an extra hit in general or maybe just in the head. Ghoul boy. Oh. Let's take a look at that after this ghoul. Yeah, I'm so glad, Phantom, you're able to, to you're able to jump on here because I know the, I, I saw a few of your posts, and I think with like DF, we're also like asking like asking about like asking about this, like what are their games? And so um, I probably, I will probably do like my top three or top five, but yeah, for coming on live, I figured this would be like, really just be like a lot of, a lot of fun, especially when we're waiting between carts and all, and all that. Um, let's see. Have you been done? Have you done checking on black? Oh, that's, oh dude, black though, a black thorn would be great. No, I agree. It's part of a, yeah, dude. Yes. No, I know we'd never get rock and roll racing, but I would love that too. No, Blackthorn is cool. I do, uh, I do remember that. Don't know if I owned that back in the day, but um, I definitely remember like playing that emulation. I want to say that there's a Genesis, there's a 32 X Genesis version of it too. That might be like, I think it's like the same thing, might have a little bit better graphics. All right. Hallelujah. Okay, so this. This boss here is a little bit of a pain, for sure. But you just have to stay one step ahead of him. All right. Now, you can see here, like, it becomes more levels where it gets darker, but now I get a, yeah, I get a fireball, which is pretty cool. It goes across the whole screen. And there's also a light spell. Hopefully I didn't get that confused. Like, let me just show you here. Yeah, see, like, it shoots in both directions. There's also a light spell, which will, like, light up the room. I huh, wonder if you can actually have like two helmets, like wearing one. Yeah, I thought there was. And then, yeah, Lost Vikings. Yep. Okay, so as long as you stay here in the doorway, you're good. Yeah, now it's a little bit trickier because we can't see as well. Yeah, an odd world, definitely. Um, I know at least the, like the PS1 version. Actually, I think sometimes on uh, Fanatical you can buy you can buy an Odd World bundle. Ah. Oh man, I didn't even need to use it. 
All right, we'll just get out of here. Yeah, see, now it's become, like, even more dark. We got time stop, but... Ah, there's a torch. So the torch is neat. There we go. I think, it, like, for a limited time, you can, you can kind of see here. Let's get the hell out of here. Whoa! But yeah, definitely you can let go too fast. Oh, again, oh yeah, this is the light spell. Come on. Okay. Ah, fireball. Yeah, they look a lot alike. Yeah, hey, I unlocked an achievement. Use free spells after fifty. Use free spells fifty times. I don't feel solid, but yeah, I, you know we we need we also need like retro achievements would be great. But you know what? Maybe it's just it's another thing that Blaze would have to like worry about. That they don't. Oh, okay, you drop the torch there and it lights that area. That's right. Oh, see, game over. See, you get a new high score. But yeah. It's just, it's crazy. One, one hit, one, you know, there's one hit start over randomly generated. Hey, I got eighth. Yeah, these are only local, I'm pretty sure. Oh, these might be the online leaderboards. Diablo, I don't know. Saving, but yeah. You know, you can, you can set it up so that, um, I need to set up the plug in that, that automatically syncs to the cloud. Um, da, 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 da. FS1 for SNES, Rock and Cats. Yeah, a lot of those. <laughs> okay, so there's another there's another cool game I want to show you all. No, thanks. Why can't I quit? Oh, there we go. I had to press the select or the button up here. Okay. So yeah, that's yeah, that's a great. So finally I unlocked that. Um yes, so like iron, like iron fistical. This is I, and I think this could run. Ooh, let me put this here. In case if you all are interested. So yeah, this um, yeah, this game I went ahead and I got from. Oh man, I can't even. <clears throat> Nuvium here. I'll put the, so like, if you're wanting to look like for like this 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 website has like some great. Let me put this in the chat. Has like some great indie games and like I think I found this one like for no. I'm, I'm, I'm like maybe less than a dollar, but like, um, Nuvim, how you say that? Nuvim? Yeah, that is, yeah. That, check that site out. You can find, like, you can like sort it down by like different genres and stuff. So I'm talking Iron Fist. Yeah, what a time. <laughs> but yeah, this game I think would be really possible. You'll see with the, although, yeah. Although it doesn't, I, I want, I don't, I think it's a twin stick, but I forget if you use the buttons. Let's see. Let's see. I, I I totally forget. Oh, it's a two-player game too. I think you do two players at the same time, so that would be great. Standard. Yeah, skip. Come on. So yeah, one thing that's neat is you get to decide where you want to move on the map to get to the boss. Okay, so it is okay. It is a twin stick shooter. So caveat this would work if they um blaze would have to add analog support but otherwise graphically like it could totally run it but yeah i guess i um, i accidentally broke my own rule but yeah they'd have to add analog support um but yeah i love like yeah twin stick shooters are so good ah and then you can get different weapons but yeah this is a pretty this is a pretty cool roguelike um up on the right-hand side of this, see if you can, 
Uh, you can probably can't see the mouse, but like there's like your speed, your movement. Like you can permanently like find things to unlock those abilities, and there's a store that you get to. Yeah, dude, twin stick. Oh my god. Um. But yeah, even if you were to buy this off of Steam, this game isn't that expensive. And you get like these things for like a limited time. All right, hurry. Okay, so now I can choose which way that I want to go. And I can choose to go. I'm going to go left. Because you want to get closer to that eyeball. I haven't picked it up yet, but I do most early access collect. Cool, cool. So yeah, we go here. And you want to get to the merchant. What's neat, though, is you get to a point where then it turns into a side-scrolling type of game. And if you can, like, complete, like, if you can, like, complete this thing, then you can, like, get your life refilled. It's pretty neat. But, yeah, this this game would be awesome on Evercade. Like, it would, like they should add, like, analog support just for this game. Um, not only that, they could do some tweaking and have it be, like, Xenocrisis. That's what I was kind of seeing. If, if by default you could use those other buttons, but, you, you know, you can't. But, yeah, I mean, why not, though? I think that would even be acceptable. Yeah. It's also kind of fun to just, you know, kind of share the kind of games that, like, you know, I, I like to play. Um, yeah, definitely, if for some reason a blaze goes away, yeah, you could, my, my, my channel would become, would, would turn into this for indie games, like, hands down. <laughs> Maybe retro too. But yeah, I would really like to showcase more of this type of stuff. Yeah, there we go. Get to the exit. Just great to meet another fan in the wild. Heck yeah. Uh oh. So this was so if I okay. So that was one of those side scrolling levels that I wasn't paying attention to. <laughs> and I could have got my life refilled. <laughs> it's all good though. I should I should have paused it. Oh, dang it, I wanted to, maybe I'll get it, there's, I think, at least one of those per level, but I wanted to show you all that so you can see. Yeah, these graveyard levels are a lot, are just a lot more tough, but basically, you just keep killing enemies until you find the key. And sometimes you can get coin and things in these pots. You know, those apples are just points, I don't think you get, like, any life. Yeah, I'm down to three health. But yeah, no, twin stick shooters are so good. Ah! But yeah, see, like a, a little game like this that like I got for like under a dollar, you know, you can see I've I've had two hours on it, but but you know, but the other thing I like too, when I don't spend a lot of money on games, I feel like I'm not as under pressure to play them. Like if I do end up playing 50 hours, great. If I only play like five or ten hours or two hours, great. It's still money well spent. And you know, and that's really how I feel to it, Evercade, except then you also get the physical cart. So it's like even better. Because like a lot of these games, like, you know, they're hidden. I couldn't even tell you until I went to like, you know, look for them. Oh, I need this health. I'm about to die. Oh, needs food badly. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I find hobbies in the bleed overlays when our physical game looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thanks. I want to play this one. Yeah, I want to say like, okay, let me. You know what? Let me look here. If we go to, hold on, hold on. And then yeah, there's like leaderboards. Let me see if I can find it. Is I want to say this game goes on sale a lot. Okay, of course, this so it's normally eight ninety nine. Of course, it's not on sale right now. Of course, oh, of course. Why? Why would it be? I have the Treasury Edition as an awesome book, amazing character. Oh, very, very cool, very cool. My like a dying for Gauntlet collection. Oh, no kidding, no kidding. I really I have a lot of fondness for like the Gauntlet Two version on NES because I, I played I played a ton of that. Um, when Blaze releases red console carts full of Iron Games, the inclusion of NES version of Kung Fu, ooh, TG, Ninja Spirit. 
All right, let me do one more game of this, and then let me see if I can actually pay attention so I can show you that little side-scrolling thing, because it's neat, though. But yeah, the, the thing that I like about the uh, Nuvium site is you can you can say, hey, I want to see all games like for under like five bucks. And I want to see all like roguelikes or like Metroidvanias. And it, it, it'll sort of buy it. Sometimes it can bring up like a bunch of like DLC, but that's how I found out about this game. Other than just like looking like normally like for bundles. But yeah, this one wish listed, you know, I want to say it's one of those ones that, you know, that goes on sale often, of course. It is an on sale, like, right now. Woohoo, 3,000 points. I don't know if more points gets you anything except for the bragging rights and the leaderboards, but it's still cool, though. Hurry. I've maybe gotten to, like, I think, like, the third level in this game. Cool. Great great to have you here, Crashline. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Okay, see so now, yeah, bonus stage shop, and it shows where I died before since I continued. <laughs> so, whoa! Hey, Brooklyn Menace, making an entrance. Good to have you here. We are just playing games that I would like to see come to Evercade. That realistically could come to Evercade, like nothing impossible to license, and that I think would run. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to try something different at request of various people. I don't know what happens if you spell that out. If you get like an, an if it's like you know like the Taito games or ooh, so I got okay. So you can see over to the right up above me there. There's like a speed meter, and I start I start over the three speed because you can buy permanent power ups. Um, you get ones during the run, so I got a plus one for the sword. So now, um, you know, my, my sword is increased by one power level. And see that in the right two, join in. So, yeah, you could do two players. This would be so cool on the VS. Uh-oh. I'm actually surprised I haven't played this game more. To be honest, if um, Stardew Valley hasn't taken over my, my game time when I'm not playing Evercade games, then, yeah, I think I would go back and play these. Some more. Okay, let's go left here again. Okay, so now this is the bonus stage. And so it's constantly moving, right? And you have a chance of... Oh, my God. Okay. You have a chance of getting money. And if you get to the end, you can get a heart. <laughs> Which I didn't do. Congratulations. Yeah, no, that, that, that's, a, that's a tricky one. Yeah, that's a, that's a tricky one, right? It's one of those things too that um, Brooklyn Menace. If you, I think if you take a, like if you look a while, you might be able to find something like that, like on Facebook Marketplace, or even eBay. I don't know. Ooh, level up, cool. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, you might be able to get for a lot cheaper. You, might, you know, just gonna like shop around a lot. Maybe Amazon. I know like that people are selling this like for ridiculous like like two hundred dollars, but like. You might be able to find it for 50 bucks or even like a local retro store. They may not, you know, they may just see it as another Evercade cart and not, you know, and not price gouge you as well. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's funny how that works out. It's like, well, I could have bought it and it was 20 bucks. You probably wanted like newer other cards. So I, I totally get it. Yeah. This, just be patient. Um, me personally, like I wouldn't like $50. That's like the top. Like you shouldn't, I mean, I think you shouldn't have to pay more than 25, 30, but yeah. Exactly. You know, that's that's the thing. You might like you might be able to find a bundle of games for 50 bucks, and then you have extra games that you can use in other portable devices or resell them and, and make your money back. Yeah, you know. Okay, so I have to go down here. Now I'm gonna go to a shop. All right, no, next after this level, I'll go to the shop. But yeah, there's always like one of these like really tough ass. I need to get all the coins I can get. One of these is like tough ass levels. And then in the shop, I try to buy the permanent power ups because then you, you get that like on the next run. And they're generally more expensive because of that. But but you know, like anything else, it's totally random. 
Mystical. And yeah, it's just it's it's just crazy. Like you level up your character, you know, while you're um looking for stuff. Uh, somebody say cake? Ah, game over. All right, well, I can't get to the boss, <laughs> but yeah, this game definitely is worth picking up, especially if you can find it on sale. And I guess like I got to level two. Okay, I thought I got in farther, so I can start off on floor two if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, no, this is a great. May have time to play one more game. Oh, they don't know what an Evercade is? Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's slowly but surely spreading. Um, I have limited edition VS, EXP, OG Evercade, except the black one. Yeah, I'm not worried. The black one, I don't think, the original black one, I don't think is that great. Because the the it's just the front of it's black and the back of it's red. And I don't, it doesn't look as good as a, a full solid. Plus, that is the first, that is the generation one of the OG Evercades that were susceptible to having the D-pad um, eventually break. And, and a second revision of that, they, they fixed that. So, you know, this is verified on Steam Deck. <laughs> Sorry, that was gonna drive me crazy there. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's see, let me, let me go back here. We may, we may just chat for a moment. Woo! When BlizzCon is happening, Ammon and Convention to make sure their announcement, make sure you hear their announcement of Blizzard Collection 1. Dude, that would be great. Cartridge full of SNES titles and Evercade. Take my money. We're there. I'm looking at adding more Evercade content to my Friday night show. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. For sure, what Blizzard focus on, right? Um, because I love talking, but yes, me too, me too. Like as much as I enjoy and having fun playing that Steam, that my Steam Deck, it's not physical. It's not physical cards, right? Sorry, I heard my daughter imitating me <laughs> in the back, like an echo. Um, which I was totally lost in thought. Yeah, so I mean, it's just, it's something special, something neat that we get. You know, that we get each month, or, or the equivalent of each month, two months, right? So I should mention that. Um, Remove iron fisticle. It looks dirty. Um, yeah, I am. So I'm still waiting on to get my my second replacement Duke one cart. Um, it's weird. It's like it was over a week ago. And Video Games Plus said that their testers are still testing it. So I've been emailing them every other day just to kind of be like, hey, what's going on? When am I getting at my replacement? Because uh, I like those folks, right? It's a great option for me. And I'm, you know, and while they're working on replacing this. I'm still buying carts with them. So I know eventually I'm going to get Duke 2. Um, the only bummer is that since they wanted both of my Duke 2 carts back, totally understandable. But now I don't have it in my collection anymore. Even the one that was broken, even the, even the one that was broken where I couldn't play the, um, the second PS2 game, or even the cart that was broken itself. At least I had it back there. So kind of sad, kind of sad. Um, but yeah, no, Evercade is a great... Uh, it was a great thing. I mean, especially if you want to, you know, if you want to be able to collect physical media, have discovery, be exposed to new games without breaking the bank. You know, that's the whole, that's the whole idea. Um, all right, let's see. Do we have time for one? We have time for one more. That's the beginning of the two-hour mark. And I can't pick everything, right? I have to save stuff for, for next time. But, um. Uh, so they a little tired. Um, would you eventually get one? Yes. I mean, I mean, they have to because they, you know, I paid for it, right? Like they have, <laughs> like I paid fifty dollars Canadian, which is like a little bit less, like ah, between thirty five and forty dollars US for two cards. So they, they they have to, or they'd have to refund my money. But I want them to give me the cart. Um. So yeah, they definitely have to. I mean, they have to do that. I think because they're they're waiting on their testers. So. What I don't, and again, this is pure speculation. What I don't know, I wonder behind the scenes if other people have also had issues, like with the Duke carts. I, I know a few people have reported issues with their Duke one, but maybe, maybe there, maybe there was like a bad batch going out there, and so, you know, maybe they they went ahead and they 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 had their testers testing them. Maybe they contacted Blaze and they said, "Hey, we've had these issues. Can you send us more carts?" I don't know, because I don't know, because when there's like defective carts like that, maybe they're waiting. To get it from Blaze. Actually, let me let me go to Video Games Plus. Let me see if they have them in stock. Let 
Let me just share here. Yeah, we'll just chat a little bit because uh, it's almost 1030 here on a work night. I'm getting a little tired, but yeah, this unfortunately flew by too fast. So if we look here, yeah, see, I'll be pre-ordering this. So yeah, that's like, you know. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, they've got the Dukes. They've got them back in again. So it's it's not it's 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 not an issue of that. Okay. That that makes me feel better. I was wondering if they were just like trying to delay as much as possible because they're like, we don't have it back in stock yet. Oh, and you can still get full void, um, the non-collector's edition. Which for me personally, you know, I didn't I didn't care having that, but yeah, they still Oh wow, Toplin out of stock, indie heroes too, a bunch of them. So yeah, it, it just depends. So I'm glad I don't have to worry about that. Um No, really? Dude, Gene Joke, that totally sucks. Crazy Burger in Heroes 3. Oh. Yeah, now knock on wood, I will say when you do have an Evercated cart and you're able to, you know, you're able to play it, play it for a few hours, you save states. I've had good luck, like they're good. If they're going to die, then it's going to be something like that. <laughs> they're they're going to die pretty pretty quickly. That's been my experience. But man, that oh, that really sucks. Indie Heroes 3 is so good. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad they included both of those, uh, both of those collections in the VS. Um, I imagine the issues of bad batch of cards maybe manufacturers is cheaper. Yeah, see, that's what I'm wondering if there was something, if, if there was just something like that, and they were, and they were investigating. Um, I think I think that's what it comes down to. Crazy Burger also did the video on what games. Might be good for a Pico 2 arcade. Oh, very, very, very cool. Very cool. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, I've got quite a, I'm going to show you, got quite a few bit of collectibles back there. Um, um, now, I, I was going to say, I did, so I did do a video. Uh, I did do a video showing off and actually, Talking in detail about all my all my collectibles uh, and everything and the meaning of it, and it was actually I spent extensively forty five minutes. But if you want to watch that, you have to be a channel member, at least at the at the super supporter level, and then you get access to all the all those videos. But if you're interested to see what I have in the detail, uh, awesome, very cool, man. Thanks so much for coming to this channel. I appreciate it, uh, Adam West. Uh, so yeah, I did I did did like a detailed video, and. Um, yeah, next month I'll be going over my Game Boy Advance collection and all that. Um, yeah, okay, GameStop. Yeah, I'm not okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not surprised that they do have, like, you know, because if so, if you're a retro store like Game Over Games around here, if, if you see that they have like Hyperkins, if they have like you know some of the other like SNES clones and those other emulations, they're probably going to have like something like Super Pockets. Uh, my retro store that you can also buy like the physical Evercade carts. Which is really cool. Um, if they did have like a Namco one, I would maybe pick up a second copy. Uh, that'd be kind of neat just to keep one in a super pocket. But otherwise, no big. Otherwise, no big deal. Um, what else? What else? Well, it might be. It might be that time wind, winding down. Um, as it is a work night, but usually, usually, depending on a Friday or Saturday night, I will do a later, uh, a later night stream. Yeah, good to have you here too, man. We're just we're just winding down. As we always say, Master Master Spark Gamer is always here. Um, but yeah, uh, once or twice a week, I I, I just you know, like to come on, blow off some steam, no pun intended tonight, and stream. And so I hope that you all kind of like this kind of fun experiment where I, I did some requests and um, I played. You know, kind of a you know a few indie games and retro games that I'd like to see come on Evercade that would be possible. Um, what I might what I might do too, especially if I get um, the comments below of, uh, of people liking this, is I think what I might do is do another video and just do like a request stream and say, hey, you know what you know what game would be possible in Evercade that you'd like me to play? And it could be either something on Steam that I have, or it could be um, you know emulation, either arcade or um, or anything else that I showed here. Um, I fly fist bump. <laughs> Back at you. Maybe sometime, oh, revisit older carts or less played carts? Yes, definitely. Um, 
those will be stuff that I'm going to be doing because as you saw by the roadmap, there's going to be a little bit of a lull <laughs> between carts. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely plan on uh, doing more of that because obviously I want to have, I want to have content. Um, so definitely I'll be going back and visiting, visiting some other carts. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's not really a review. It's about two weeks. I'm, I'm maybe just revisit, maybe something simple like that, like revisit carts because uh, something a bit like, you know, like the first 10 carts, of course, um, when I when I started this channel, those were already out. I never I never did my uh, my first initial impressions till later on. So yeah, <laughs> you know, or ooh, or flashback. Yeah, that's a cool yeah. Revisit flashback. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I definitely plan on doing that. Um, I still need to. I still do need to catch up and do my uh, follow up to Indie Heroes two weeks later. And then really the only other outstanding thing is I need to need to get the Duke 2 thing settled. But other than that, of the cards that I have, that's pretty much that. And then, um, yeah, if the game of the month comes back or not. But yeah, definitely I'll be putting up more content and, and doing that type of stuff. I like revisit. Um, I'll make a note. I should make a note of that. Revisit or flashback. Revisit or flashback. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But anyways, yeah, this was a great, uh, fun experiment. Uh, I hope everyone who came in enjoyed it. I it seemed to have a good reception and all that. Uh, we'll definitely do this again. And, um, you know, also, you know, oh, or every Cade completion quests. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that would be fun too. Yeah, kind of like what Retro uh, Richard does from Bacon Ice Cream Productions, by the way, if you haven't checked out his channel, it's awesome. Um, you can also, <clears throat> you can also find his, if, uh, you can also find his channel on the other, um, Evercaders like uh, Pete, Ever Canadian, who was in your crow. If you go to the Evercast uh, playlist, just pick like the latest one, and I have all, all the our, all the YouTube channels listed there. Um, so yeah, this was awesome. This was fun. We'll definitely do stuff like this again. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for coming in here. If you did happen to stumble upon this channel through the YouTube verse and you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. Um, I do stream once or twice a week. Usually it's been Wednesdays and Saturdays. It, it seems like that's what it's been. Um, and in addition to that, I do a weekly podcast called Evercast with me and my buddies. We talk everything Evercade related. And this Saturday, um, it's this Saturday, the 30th. Um, I cannot wait for Evercast. So if you're in sub, you're not going to want to miss that because we're going to, we're going to talk about, you know, the new roadmap and it'll be speculation, awesomeness and all that. So, um, I've checked out, uh, Pete's and Rich's video because, you know, they, they, they did their first impression kind of video like I did, the big news, and I can't wait to talk to them live. That, that'll be a lot of fun. So you definitely don't want to miss that. <laughs> Stop it, Crow. Stop it. <laughs> what roadmap? Of course, Crow would come in here at the last moment and say that. What roadmap? Oh, dude, you're too much. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be talking about that on Evercast. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. And um one of the things I want to mention too, um, you know, as always, I do appreciate my channel members. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, you know thank them here in a moment and play us out on those credits. If you're interested in joining, um, there's you know, I do monthly videos and I do uh, of, of, of something different kind of behind the scenes. Like I'd mentioned my uh, Game Boy Advance collection. I'm going to talk about that. I've talked about the other collections and uh, pretty much the stuff that the channel members are interested in that don't kind of belong to the mainstream. And I do weekly check-in videos and all that cool type of stuff. And uh, my PO box is still alive and well. Uh, Fast Hippie, if you're watching this on the replay, do you appreciate it? Yeah, he's going to send me out a box of like stuff. I don't know what it is. It's a surprise, a mystery box. Um so yeah, as long as at least one person sends me something every three months, that'll be a lot. That'll be kept alive. If that's something that interests you, that's in the description below. Uh, by no means is anybody obligated to do anything. I appreciate all the support just by watching this here helps with the channel. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate everyone from uh, from going on here. It's been a blast. And until next time, bye bye. Thank you, Crashline, Mr. Shua, and the Immortal Soldiers!